Hi guys, welcome back to Hot Stories UG. My name is Ray. So in today's story, we are going to talk about some important issues that actually we should be talking about, not just entertainment. So I came across a post on Facebook, on uh, Monitor actually, on Daily Monitor today, uh, today morning. There is uh, this young man who is a student at Chambogo University. So he secured himself a job with a certain company called Global Paper Limited in Balala in Mukono, in Mukono district. So according to the story, this young man was kicked in his manhood by his Chinese boss. The Chinese boss kicked him in the manhood, you know. So the gentleman says he doesn't know why his boss actually kicked him. He was busy picking, you know, doing his work. And then the boss just comes and starts to kick him until he falls on the ground. So someone who wrote the story mentioned that this young man is at a CPR medical center in Mukono getting some treatment. He has been there for four days. He is in a lot of pain, in a lot of abdominal pain. And this young man is called a Peter Waiswa. And his boss is just known as Lu, L-U-I, that's a, a Chinese name. So this young man said, you know, um, my mom is a single mom. I have a nine siblings. I tried to secure a job so that, you know, difficult times I can take care of my family. But now I'm lying in a hospital because my boss assaulted me. And the medical bill has accumulated. I don't even have money. Uh, the HR, the human resource manager of this company, I refuse to make any comments. I definitely, I believe the HR has a job to protect. And Mukono police mentioned that they are doing an investigation, this particular matter. So that's how the story are in, in Daily Monitor. So my concern is, I think uh, most of these, not even I think, but the fact is most of these foreigners are disrespectful, you know. You come to our country, an African country, you set up a company, but for some reason you still have the confidence to treat local people like this. Recently we saw President Kagame deport a very many Chinese for treating grandees employees you know local employees in a bad manner but i don't know when uganda will start to act up on such matters because what gives this chinese man the confidence to think you can kick a young man in his manhood like why does he get the confidence to say can just kick him in his manhood you know because even if someone is doing wrong at work you're not supposed to assault him physically i believe any workplace has you know you have standard operating op procedures, you have uh, you have an HR department. When someone does wrong, you know how they're supposed to be punished at work. Either you dismiss them or you give them a warning letter. So have those standard procedures, the way an employee is supposed to be treated if they do something wrong. But when you assault them physically and kick them in the manhood, that's just, you know, that's just left. So these these foreigners, I they just have most of them just have Kamanyiro really. Some people went ahead to make some comments and said some of these investors are typical criminals. Uh, if it was a Ugandan who kicked a Chinese in China, Ugandan <laughs> Ugandans lives matter. If it was the other way around, you know people would shout. But since it's uh, just a Ugandan, then people would just think it is okay. And their person said, the way Ugandan legislators treasure Chinese and Indians, you may think they own the country. Nothing will be done to that Chinese. And this nonsense, you can't find it in any other African countries like Kenya, Tanzania, it's only in Uganda. I wish it was a means time. I think it's time it changes, really. You can't come to our country and disrespect us like this. This shouldn't be acceptable, you know. This shouldn't be acceptable, really. Someone else said, when shall we get another president like Idi Amin, Dada? Asians really enjoyed life in Uganda after Idi Amin. People say, uh, let's fight uh, these people left, right, and center until we chase them. So, of course, uh, definitely this is wrong. I don't think uh, these Chinese should get away with this kind of crime in any manner. I wish as a lawyer, I would definitely make sure he is dragged to court and sued or even deported. This is just unacceptable. I think if you are a foreigner in a country, the least as you can do is to respect people. It's just as simple as that. Respect each other. It's very disrespectful when you kick a man in his manhood. Anyway, I just thought I, I bring this story. These are the stories that won't get the most views, but these are the matters that actually do matter the most, you know. These are issues that are actually in our country. But uh, uh, click on the subscribe button and share your thoughts. 
of what do you think about these foreigners who come to our country and think they can disrespect us? And it's not only this one, this is just a representation of very many other such incidences that happen at work because we have very many Chinese companies, we have very many Indian companies, and they employ very many locals. Personally, I've worked for an Indian company before. So what do you think of such concerns? What do you think of such a matter? Share your thoughts, click on the subscribe button, tap on the bell, and thank you for watching. See you in the next story. Bye.